Uh, hello guys today in this tutorial I will basically show you a new tool that I deployed on my website which lets you convert your PDF documents into Microsoft Word document. This is a tool here I have made it in Node.js and Express and uh, basically I am using a Python script in the background and I am calling that Python script and let me show you the live demo the link is given in the description of the video. So here guys you need to simply select a PDF document sample.pdf I selected this click on download doc file so basically guys the doc file has been downloaded and if I open that file all the text which was written in the PDF document has been successfully converted you can see it only contained two pages the PDF document and basically it preserved the formatting as well and uh, if I select some other file let's suppose this file it will take some time and again you can see that it will download that so we will try to look at how to build this converter website guys so all the source code is given you can directly purchase the full source code after that you will get this directory structure you will get all the source code I will show you step by step how I use that and specifically guys we have used a library in Python which lets you do the which is called as PYMU PDF. This is the library, guys, which we have used. PYMU PDF. This is a module, and also we are using uh, FITZ. This is the module that we are using in Python. So just install these two modules, and uh, we will write the simple Python script add.py. So just make a Python script here, and uh, inside this Python script, we will import the module first of all and uh, from that we will import our document we will define a function which will actually carry out the process we will say convert pdf to doc and we will take the pdf file and then we will output the doc file so it basically this function uh, receives two arguments so we will basically create a new document using this document constructor and now to basically open that PDF document we will use the open method of uh, this module and we will basically loop through for in each uh, you will see that basically here we will calculate how many pages are there in the PDF document in the for loop and for each page we will basically in uh, using the page number we will extract the text now to extract the text we will use this method get text and then automatically we will add this add paragraph we will call this method that's all and then we will save this file guys doc.save doc file that's all this is actually the function guys now we need to simply call this function we will say that if name is equal to main and in that case we will simply say that if length system argument is not equal to 3 so here we need to basically provide the simply the in the else block we will simply say we will get the input pdf path using the system argument so here the user will provide the input PDF file and the output doc file path. So we are basically these are command line arguments. We are doing it using the system module that is a built in module in Python. After that we will simply call this function. We will basically pass the input PDF. We will pass the output doc file path that we have. And lastly we will say a print message that conversion completed that's all so this is actually the python script guys that we written and we will call this inside our node.js project so just now basically make a new node.js project guys simply invoke that command npm in it dash y this will create a package.json file and now install express malter so these two dependencies are required guys malter dependency for uploading the files so just do that it's very simple and now we will basically go to index.js so we will basically now do 
a very basic code so this code i have used in all my tools guys basically we are including the express module we are including the malter module and then we are calling the spawn which is actually call the python script from our node.js application from the child process module which is a built in module in uh, node.js then we are making a new instance of express app and then we are basically making the public folder as static folder in express if you know some basic express you will know all these methods then we are invoking the body pass or middleware we are including it this is necessary while we are working with forms and then we are telling malter where to save these files so we are make a public folder just make a uploads directory where all your input files will be stored and also make a index.html file as well so this will be a simple form so right here guys we will make our index.html file this contains a simple form guys if you see we have a simple heading and we are basically making a post request here to this route pdf to doc and the method is post encoding type multi part form data and we have a simple input field and this name attribute is important guys you need to give it this name attribute and then we have a download button that's all this is the thing and for this we don't need jquery so simply eliminate that we are including the bootstrap cdn guys right here at the top if you see and uh, now guys we will basically make upload we will call the malter constructor pass the storage object we will only upload a single file that's all and now we will make that post request which is pdf to doc and we will use this upload request we will say or we can use it in inside as well we can say upload request response and here you will say if request dot file if the file is uploaded then we simply need to say uh, output path will be date dot now uh, output dot docx and then guys we will simply say uh, we will basically call that python script we will make the process we will call spawn and then we will simply say here uh, uh, python and then we will call the python script here app.py and then we will provide the arguments input file in request.file.path and the output path so we are calling this so this contains events guys so when the python script is over executing it we will basically have this callback function which will execute and this will have this code parameter guys if you see so this code parameter exactly tells us if the processing is over or not we will have if the value of code is equal to zero in that case we perfectly know we can download the file our output file path our processing is over so now that output file will be created so now we can use response.download to actually download the file so now our uh, application is completed guys so now our app is listening on port 5000 we can simply start our application node more index for js if you see guys our application has been started if i go localhost 5000 if i choose my pdf file so let me see guys what is the problem the file is uploaded if you see guys and uh, uh, python process close let me just write this once again So all this source code guys is given in the description of the video. Let me copy this python script. I think I have made a mistake here. Let me paste this code and then try again if I, this works or not. Localhost 5000. If I again choose pdf file. Okay, so the I think the error is here in this part 
so I just need to copy this paste it so you can see the output file is uh, creating in the root directory but here it is creating this problem so yeah so just paste this code guys so here we are checking if the code value is equal to 0 in that case we will download the file that's all So choose the file, so it is saying that output path is not defined, okay, just rename this to output path, so that was the mistake and again if you call the script here. So now you can see that guys, the it is carrying out the conversion process, you will see that. If I, this one, again you will see that it has downloaded it, now it contains so many pages. So, if you now use this one this file let me use it again download so you will see that it will extract all the text which are present guys and it will convert it to the doc file. So it's a very useful tool that I will develop guys. So the link is given. You can directly purchase the full source code. Before purchasing it, you can try out the live demo which is deployed on freemediatools.com. You can definitely check the live demo PDF to doc. This is a service. The link is given. So please hit that like button, subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video.